log bananas and more shit. Hold on. What is up, everyone? It's Michael Casares here with an album review of the first Slipknot album, which was released in 1999, with a lineup of nine people all together. Or, yeah, nine people all together, which is z numbers zero through nine, or basically Sid, Corey, uh, sorry, Sid, Joey, Paul, Paul Gray, or Joey Jordison, Paul Gray, Chris Fenn. Jim Root as lead guitarist, five one or one one five or Craig Jones the samplist, um, Sean Cran the co the lead founder of the band Slipknot, Mick Thompson or Thompson the rhythm guitarist, and Corey Taylor which is just the vocalist, which their backup vocals but I don't think there's any in this album. Before this, there was a demo release of Spit It Out, Wait and Bleed, Snap, Interloper, and Despise. And before this was the uh, different songs, like first the second song, Sick, was originally Slipknot and the album made Feed, Kill, Repeat, but then the lineup changed, got ripped dead, and that wasn't fully released or put out by a record company. This CD uh, was released by Roadrunner, which a lot of their albums are, I'm pretty sure all their albums are. And December, actually not December 1999. What am I talking about? Not December 1999. Me just stupid. Which, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was December 1999. And the original thing was in 1998. Well, the songs are number 1 through 15. Number 1, I'm not going to read it, 30 seconds long. Sick, the second one, the opener, open song for. You know, the one the first one to actually have long spare amount of half point is 319, which starts with drums or all the vocalists or all the drummers, uh, number six, number three, and the lead drum set, number one. And the third song, Eyeless, which is 356 or 3 minutes 56 seconds. Is their third song, which comes in with, which shows Sid's Sid Wilson's turntabling and Craig sampling, and then it comes with mixed guitar noises or guitar distortions. Number four, Wait and Bleed, which is one of their singles that came off the first album, which is very short; it's only two minutes and twenty-seven seconds. Um, I think it does a being schizophrenic or waking up in a place you've never been before. Or her, I think please, I think I'm pretty sure he's just because this uh, this album the singer was intoxicated, like all the time. So number five, surfacing, which when they play live, they say it's an anthem, which not the heretic anthem, which is the next album. But this one is uh, probably my favorite of all the songs because it has so much meaning, which I'll talk to it before the end of the video, which stands at three minutes thirty eight seconds. Number six, Spit It Out, was their single, had a video release, which is it's amazing. Kind of had a hip hop kind of feel to it from the turntablist, basically, and the samplist. Spit It Out's only two minutes, 39 seconds. Number seven, Tattered and Torn, is two minutes and 54 seconds. Um, number eight, Frail Limb Nursery, which is just 45 seconds long, which is just pretty creepy. It's opener for the song Purity, which Purity was not released on their album because. Copyright issues with people with different band which they won and they put in their uh, I'm not even I don't, I don't think they put it in their 10 year anniversary But I think they did because they won the rights over it and this purity is 4 minutes and 14 seconds long number 10 is liberate and uh, Go on just gets you I don't know moving jumping kind of gets you gets you ready for what uh, the next songs I had because not all the rest of them are as heavy as the ones that open up, it's three oh three minutes and it's six seconds long. Prosthetics, which is based off the I believe book and movie, 
the collector, which is just him and palms, I guess, is based off that, which is 4 minutes 58 seconds, but on the brink of being 5 minutes. Number 12, No Life, which is 2 minutes 47 seconds. 13, Diluted, which is 3 minutes 23 seconds. 14, Only One, which has backup vocals, I think, by uh, Chris and Sean, which are usually the life. If you ever seen pictures of Sick or anything like that, the live, the three people standing on stage would be them. The last song, Scissors, they're... Um, Longest song in the album, 19 minutes and 16 seconds, but there's a lot of silence in the song because I believe that's where, go, where ERE, which ER, the next song in the next album, came out in. So that there's a there's a little bit of silence in that. There are different versions of the albums. There's the original issue, which is a Digipack import, or there's the reissue, to where I believe that's where that's when Purity was repro on it. There's a European limited edition. A reissue with bonus tracks, which I believe are some different original songs from the first album, or maybe keep feed can repeat like Gently, for instance. Actually, no, Gently's on the next one. Tenth year anniversary, tenth anniversary edition DVD and music videos, which came out for it. And the music videos for this are for Wait and Bleed, Spit It Out, and that is it. There's different versions of those videos, so. Um, and the charts in the American charts, the U.S. Billboard came in 200. Uh, U.S. Billboard 200 came in 51st place. It sold the most in Australia, which it went platinum. And in the United States, it went actually no, sorry about that. Um, it sold more. It was Australia was the first people to get it. Then after a while, the United States it got double platinum. So yeah the put out, the people who put it out was Ross Robinson who helped with uh, mixing stuff like that and uh... release oh yeah release June actually no I'm sorry June 29th 1999 was when it was uh... released where it was released worldwide and you know so in Japan the United States everything like that Roadrunner Records um... none of the songs play on the radio because cuss, cussing a lot I think all the ones that was was I didn't bleed that's basically it for that. Okay. Now, when I said surfacing was my favorite, mostly because the point of the song has behind it, the meaning to it, which is, if you ever heard it, a lot of, a lot of cussing and saying, you know, F this and F that. You can feel how pissed he is and what he's singing, what he's speaking, how much emotion he has to it, how much... Uh, I'm a point you want to get across with just through all these songs, like Eyeless, for instance, during the last part of the song, or the last words besides the chorus, it gives across great meaning along with it. But this one the most because they play the last of every show, which they're uh, like, kind of like encore when they say it's done, and they'll after a couple more songs, they'll play this, and that ends it. From Mix Awesome, messing on the guitar, which sounded awful, it sounds like shit, absolute crap. But it goes along with everything else that sets up for Slipknot standards. That isn't crap. It just goes together. And this song gets beautifully at mix end. All the instrument come. All the instruments come together from the samplers adding screams, I believe. Sid adding the DJ turntables and all that kind of stuff. And then from that, it goes on to. Sorry. From that, it goes on to, for instance, Tattered and Torn, which has it more in prosthetics. So it has too much samples, I think, in my opinion, or DJ-ness, but surfacing it comes together perfectly in the point across. It's a, don't really want to judge you, it's just amazing, in my opinion. So that's probably my favorite out of the whole album. The And also, No Life, because No Life and uh, out, Me Inside were, uh, which I don't think Me Inside's in this set list or the original issue or the original album released included lots of melody which doesn't happen it's not a lot of melody but it's it's a dent into what they're trying to it's they they barely touched or scratched the surface to what they're trying to get a point in their statement and from only one to sick to shows his amazing screams and how much how pissed he can get to get across this, get across this point.
so that's basically it for this arm review that's it guys and i'll see you next time